realized yesterday when I did my video that um, I was trying to way overdo it. I could have just talked into the microphone. So I'm going to redo this video today with me talking you through it um, because I feel like I can get a lot more out when I'm talking. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to add your image that is a PNG or I'm not sure if JPEGs will work, but PNG for sure to your library. So import to library. I'm going to grab some of these floral images today. So I want to do this one. Import it. It's going to bring up your library as soon as you do that. And then you double click on the one that you want to convert to a cut file. So as you can see right now, this is not, it's not going to work. So like you, if you go over to, let's make it smaller so you can see the cut lines. Um, if you put it on your document and you go over to send, you're basically, I don't know why mine always brings up sketch. So you're basically going to have nothing, like nothing is going to cut. Um, and we we're wanting to fix that. So I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to go to this thing that looks like bread right here. This is the trace tool. I'm going to select it and I'm going to drag my mouse on top of the image that I want to make into a cut file. You'll see all these yellow spots right here. That is the part that is registering to um, become a cut file. So with the threshold, um, we're, the threshold is basically when you play with that, either going to make the yellow part larger or smaller. So I usually just go ahead and take it all the way up to 100 um, and then press trace. So when you do that, you're going to see, and I'll zoom in for you, you're going to see this little red line um, all around it. So technically, if you wanted it to cut exactly on the image that you have, um, you could be done. However, I usually do this for stickers, um, so I don't actually want it to cut exactly on the image. I want there to be a little bit of wiggle room on the outside, and I don't want as much detail to be actually cut out because I feel like it takes away from um, the, beautiful, the beautiful image. So after I do that, I'm going to go over to the offset tool. Um, there are actually two layers here. And so I'm going to select everything and then I'm going to do shift click on the colored part. And I'm doing that because it's taking away that second layer, basically the box. So if you do the offset here and you have the box selected, it's going to just offset the box and not your image. So you want to shift click. So if I do that, you can see another box do that and it's gone. Okay. So I have just the red lines selected. So sorry for all the, the noise. That's my son playing with his trains. Um, you have your offset tool selected and you're gonna click offset. When you do that, you're gonna see that there's now a new line all around your image. I don't want it to be quite that far away, so I'm gonna take it down just a smidge to about right there. Once I do that, I'm going to press apply. Oh, it got ahead of itself. It's still going. Hold on. Sometimes it has a mind of its own. I want it at about one, like point one. Okay, so I'm going to press apply. When I do that, it's going to leave this outline here. Okay, so when you take it over into cut, you'll see now you have two lines that are going to cut. You have one that's right on the image and one that's a little bit spaced away from the image. Um, so because I use these for stickers, I don't want both lines cut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here and you see these little red lines. I'm gonna double click and it's gonna bring up all of these boxes. I mean, they are everywhere. Um, this can be kind of tedious depending on the kind of image that you have. And this is the most time consuming part of this process. Um, but I promise you it's worth it to do this. So I'm going to click on it and it's going to bring up a red line. It's going to basically select one of those boxes. I am going to start deleting these boxes. Usually I just make myself comfortable, press the delete button and hold it down and it just goes to town. Um, I'll end up fast forwarding this part so you don't have to watch the entire thing um, delete because it's going to take it a minute. 
Okay, but at, before I fast forward, this is basically just me taking away those inner cut lines. I don't want them. They're useless to me. So I am taking them away by deleting the little red box or the little boxes. Okay, so when it finishes with the large part, you still you see there are still a bunch of small boxes all around. So you're going to want to zoom in. And again, like I said, this part is a little tedious. Um, you're going to want to find all those small boxes and um, delete them. And a way to do that easily is to come over here to send. And you can kind of get... Whoops, let me zoom out. So if you go over to send, it's going to show you all the cut lines. Um, so you can still see that I have all of these little cut lines all in the middle. Um, I just want to go through and delete them. So I'm going to fast forward this um, so you don't have to watch it. Okay, so I have gotten all of those little inner boxes to go away. I check over in my scent. You see how it's all gone now? However, because of my outline being the way it is, um, I still have some little spots just from the outline that need to be taken off. So like this, I don't want this. I don't want there to be an extra cut in my sticker. I want it to be all the way filled in. Um, so I'm going to go back through again and select my box. Um, oh, I'm going to select this line like this and you see it brings up the whole outline this time so now you're gonna go through and delete all the things on the inside that you don't want anymore okay at this point my sticker is ready um, now I obviously would not print it that large so I would take it down select all of it both layers you know size measure in your in your planner or wherever you're going to use it um measure how big you want it resize um and then you're ready to do the print and cut feature so i'm just going to add this in here wasn't planning on it but if you're printing and cutting you want to make sure your media size is a letter because you're going to print on a letter page um your mat is the correct size so you might be using 12 by 12 you might be using the 12 by 24 um you know make sure it's the right size and then you're going to want to come here to registration marks and you want them on. You're going to want to keep your image inside of these registration marks or else it's not going to print and cut it. And that's it. You come over here to send. You get your stuff ready to go. And you have just the outside of a sticker.